Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, if you are following my channel, I've already made a couple of videos related to CODF library. And if you don't know about this particular library, this is a Python GPU data frame library built on Apache uh, arrow column memory format for loading, joining, aggregating, filtering and otherwise manipulating tabular data. Now, one of the problems specifically using pandas library is that you know pandas uh, whenever you try to work with a huge data set always you'll try to see that hey it is going to take more time for any kind of data pre-processing steps right so what nvidia specifically have come up with this amazing library which is called as cudf pandas and this is nothing but this is a python gpu data frame library that basically means you can use this library and you can do any kind of data pre-processing with the help of GPUs, if the GPU is available in your system or Google Colab, you can easily use it and you will be able to probably do all the manipulation and data pre-processing techniques that you really want. Okay. Now, already a couple of videos I've already made about this. The reason why I'm making this specific video, because there is a new, recent new update specifically in this Rapids, uh, which is the version as 24.08 release, which we'll talk about and we'll try to see with a practical example what all things we can actually do right now let's talk about the new update that could if library has actually brought up right and it is now providing a pandas accelerated mode allowing you to bring accelerated computing to your pandas workflow without requiring any code change and when we talk about this specific use case accelerating last string data pre-processing with could if pandas accelerator mode here uh, this will definitely open up specifically to use in various gen ai use cases because this is really solving a tricky problem with the help of pandas and you'll be seeing as we go ahead when we see the implementation part the book will demonstrate how cudf pandas accelerator mode can help accelerate processing of data set with large string fields right and this is probably more than 4 gb plus you know with respect to the memory size uh, by just adding this particular command, load extension command, we'll be using it to load the CUDF libraries. We have introduced this feature as a part of Rapids 24.08 release. If you really want to know more about the release, all the information is basically given over here. So let's go ahead and first of all execute this and we'll see step by step we'll be executing line by line and we'll be seeing the use cases and how amazing this specific library is. So first of all, we will go ahead and uh, write NVIDIA-SMI. This will probably display all the information with respect to the GPU that we have. Right now we are using this Tesla T4 specifically uh, that is available in Google Colab for you it may be different uh, because I have actually taken a paid Google Colab feature so I'm able to use this uh, GPU I think this GPU is available for everyone I guess right um, then uh, we will try to download the data right and this data set is basically a LinkedIn jobs and skills data set for 2024 and it's a huge data set it's a huge data set I think the memory that will be required will be more than 8 GB plus memory and in I'm just talking about the memory to probably load this particular data set okay so let's use this particular data set so first of all you need to execute this Kaggle data set download with this particular command and uh, what this will do is that this will just unzip all the files and there are two files that is called as jobs underscore skills dot csv jobs underscore summary dot csv and there is also one more file which is linkedin job posting dot csv so i will be requiring these three files i have already executed this code the reason is that it will probably take a couple of minutes and i do not want to probably uh, you know make you wait over here for just downloading the data set so all the csv file you will be able to see over here and this particular csv file we will be downloading so just go ahead and execute this this code will be given in the description of this particular video okay now uh, let's go ahead and start with this one right so import pandas as pd i'm importing right now and right now we are not using any uh, we are just using normal pandas right we are not using cudf pandas you'll be able to understand the difference between cudf and pandas and just pandas right so initially we'll go ahead and just execute how the data pre-processing happens with respect to pandas so here we have just executed this import pandas as pd now i am just trying to probably see the job summary data set okay 
this data set contains job summaries for each job link so for this we are reading this read underscore csv job underscore summary dot csv and this is my data frame that is created now we'll just try to print this information that is data site in gb and we are trying to see how much memory usage it is probably taking in terms of gbs right so that is the reason we are using dot sum divided by this particular value right and this two is nothing but it is saying that hey after decimal take two digits right so here you can see the data set size is somewhere around 8.19 gb right and cpu time is somewhere around like to load this entire data set and probably to print this information it took me somewhere around 59.8 seconds which is total of one minute seven seconds because this data set is huge 8.19 gb data set okay and here you can also see the ram has actually become full completely over here right you can actually see it over here right and this is nothing but 12 gb ram now the 8 gb data set took somewhere around one minute to load let's examine the data set entries along with the memory footprint and character count so i will just go ahead and execute this now see when we are just using pandas it is going to take time with respect to any processing so right now we are just displaying the head okay now this data set contains job summary so here is the job summary and here is the job link okay the job summary column is particularly large occupying 5 gb in size with a total of 5 billion characters okay so this is definitely a very huge data set okay now calculate the memory usage of each column in gbs so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the job underscore summary dot memory usage deep is equal to true and i'm just converting this into gbs so this entire job summary that you'll be able to see uh we are just trying to see the memory usage with respect to this okay and then we are printing the job summary column in size in gbs and then job summary columns of characters in billion right so we are just going to print this and you know billion we can probably just divide by 10 raised to 9 so that we'll be able to understand whether it is 1 billion or 2 billion characters right so now let's go ahead and execute this entire code and see that how many number how many gbs are there how many billion uh, characters will be specifically there so here you can see job summary column size column by column we are trying to just check okay so 8.0 gb and job summary column number of characters is somewhere around 4.95 billion okay now this is fine similarly what we are going to do we are going to read the job underscore skills dot csv right so that uh, the second csv file that i have is job underscore skills dot csv let's see that how much will be the size for this okay and i'm also displaying dot info so this is going to take some amount of time in loading the documents because these documents are quite huge okay the data set contains a mapping between job links and skill tags associated with the link so this is the information that is probably present over here so this has approximately taken me somewhere around uh, 12.9 seconds okay to load all these things uh then we can go ahead and see the job underscore skills dot df dot head here we have the job link and here we have the job skill so this is the mapping between job links and skill stack okay then job posting data set also let's go ahead and just read this and this contains demographic and other work related details for each job posting uh, just wait for some time because the most interesting thing will be that with respect to data preprocessing how much time it is taking and then with the help of cudf library how quickly it will be able to see you'll be able to see that entire magic okay so here is it uh here is my underscore df dot head so this is my all the information last process time got summary got near some information is basically there right and if you don't know about this this contains the demographic and other work related details for each job posting okay this is that now let's go ahead and do the eda part now here we'll see which companies and role have extremely long job summary long job summary long job summaries can be challenging to read but they are essential for certain roles requiring specific subject matter expertise it would be interesting to identify which job roles and companies have extremely long summaries okay so here i will just go ahead and write job summary underscore df with respect to job summary dot str dot length we are just going to calculate the length and then we are going to just display this length now see once i execute this you'll be able to see that it is going to take it took me around one second the overall total time it took around is 1.11 second okay and remember the the the, the data set is also quite huge and with cp also i'm able to get somewhere around one second then to identify job roles and companies with the longest job summaries we need to merge the two data set using job link column right 
so what we are doing we will be merging job posting underscore df job summary underscore df how we are going to merge it by left join and we are just going to do a job link right job link is one of the feature based on this we are going to merge this now if i go ahead and execute this this is also going to take some amount of time let's see how much time it is going to take so it took somewhere around 3.2 seconds okay so please make sure that you note this and these are like basic eda so many number of times i've shown in in various videos that i've actually done right now let's finally to uh, take a look at job underscore title and company with the maximum job summary length through data aggregation now we are going to apply the data aggregation see df underscore merged whatever value we got we are doing a group by by company and job title and we are aggregating some length the summary length with mean and uh, then we are doing the sort values with summary length ascending is equal to false and fill na is equal to zero right fill na is equal to zero basically means if there is some nan values they're just going to fill it now let's see that how much time this is going to take right since we are doing a group by operation the aggregation operation so it took us somewhere around 3.07 seconds then total time is somewhere around 3.17 seconds in short we are just grouping by company and job title so here you will be able to see company and group uh, uh, job title and this is basically my summary length with respect to all the job titles that we have right so many number of characters and all right and these are the information that i'm actually getting right then how does the length of the job summary varies by location another interesting trend would be to see whether job summary length changes with location hopefully the role requirement should not be biased on the locations right so here what we are doing we are doing group by by job title and job location so based on job location we need to find out whether the summary length is going to change or not right so here we are going to see this and then we are going to reset it right and we are going to see some information over here so let's go ahead and see this sort and underscore df now why i am showing you all these things it will all make sense in another one minute and then you'll be able to see the magic so over here the total time with respect to cpu is somewhere around 5.89 seconds now similarly you can do all these things you can probably go ahead and see all this kind of eda whatever things you really want to do but the most interested thing will be how to do the analysis of cudf pandas and once i do this right now you see the timings right how fast it will become so first of all we will update we will install the recent cudf library that is nothing but 24.8 point whatever zero right now is there but whatever version will later come we'll get that particular update so i'll just go ahead and install this now instead of just using pandas i'm going to use cudf pandas that will be the magic so this is getting downloaded now you can see that cudf cutl uh, 12 is equal to uh, 24.8.0 is basically getting downloaded that is what we have the recent version that you can see over here right so this will get downloaded let's wait for this to get entirely downloaded and then we will prob probably see the entire eda part so once the installation is basically done what it will do is that it will go ahead and restart the entire kernel so just click on restart the kernel once that is done now we will just go ahead and see the uh, we'll do the kernel shutdown and we'll restart it to true. Okay. Then after this, what we are basically going to do, see the entire kernel is getting restarted. Uh, then we are going to load the extension with respect to cudf.pandas. Once you do this load extension with cudf.pandas and whenever we use pandas, now pandas is just going to go ahead and use the GPU that is available with us. Right. Now, previously, if you remember, it took us how many number of minutes? right just to load this huge data set if you see over here it took us somewhere around one minute seven seconds let's see now how much time it is going to take once we read the same code right so now if i'm going to see the job summary.csv it is probably going to use the gpu the same t4 gpu previously pandas was just using the cpu over there now see the magic just 2.27 seconds isn't it amazing it is using that accelerated mode and just imagine before it was taking one minute now it is just able to complete it in total of 3.96 uh, uh, five nine seconds right and here is the entire data set size similarly let's go ahead and read for job scaling and job posting dot df see this so much milliseconds within milliseconds this entire data set has been loaded right if I'm doing any kind of pre-processing in all milliseconds, and this is all possible because of this amazing library that is CUDF pandas, because in short, it is using the GPU that is available uh, with us. And it is probably, it is able to execute completely parallelly, right? And that is what GPU power is all about. If you're training machine learning models and all. Now in data pre-processing also, you're able to do that. Not only this, 
uh, after executing this let's uh, this also you could see that we, we were able to get just in 23.6 milliseconds now if I'm probably doing the merge the same thing right and here you can see that was lightning fast we went around fr uh, from 10 plus with pandas to few milliseconds even the merging part see if I probably doing PD dot merge here yeah, hardly 208 milliseconds within that time frame you are able to entire download this or do this entire pre-processing technique right not only that the same pre-processing with respect to company and job title which we are doing group by let's see this okay and this is also probably in 460 milliseconds you are able to get the answer over here right we went down from around five seconds to less than a second over here just imagine now just as the data set keeps on increasing this time frame will be almost that much itself right milliseconds the execution will exactly happen right which is really really good so once you probably do this then you can also go ahead and check other things like you want to probably do group by job title job location everything all the information is over here it is also printing it that's really good now let's go ahead and do all these things let's see if you are having so many number of different different types of insta code that we have written over here with respect to sort values with respect to group by hardly 511 milliseconds 53.4 milliseconds and total time it is 56 564 milliseconds just imagine isn't it amazing right and here it is just taking time to display the result in the console itself that's it right so the summary if you really want to know about cudf.pandas you can keep using pandas as your primary data frame library because we love pandas everybody loves pandas right but when things starts to get a little slow just load this cudf.pandas extension and enjoy the incredible speed ups and since this is also getting updated continuously trust me more amazing features are actually going to come if you like google collab and want to probably peak cudf for pandas performance to perform process even larger data set google collab paid tire includes l4 800 gpus and all in addition to t4 gpu see i have t4 gpu but if i go ahead and change the runtime i also have l4 gpu and all 800 gpu you can also try for that and you can also use high ram billions and billions of record you can specifically use so guys from this particular demo you just saw that how we were able to save some time with respect to data pre-processing in some of the examples we were able to save, save into seconds we were say, able to uh, you know just do it in milliseconds and all and uh, this is just a simple notebook file but just imagine when you're solving a real world practical outcomes right the seconds will definitely be converted into many many number of hours when we are working with huge data set and just with the help of this specific library you will be able to save so much time and you'll be also able to do the data pre-processing so much efficiently and in a better way in a much more faster way so yeah uh, this was the most amazing thing about this particular library uh, more information about this library will be given in this specific link you can go ahead and check it out so i hope uh, you like this particular video uh, to know more about this you can also go ahead and visit this particular website that is rapid ai cudf pandas and you can get to know more about it but at the end of the day we are accelerating pandas we are we are putting pandas with steroid you know to probably run as fast as it can execute faster as it can right so yes it was it this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i will see you on the next video have a great day thank you take care bye bye